All right, man, told you to uh, 12 o'clock show. You know what it is, man. Hey, man, look, man. So apparently, <laughs> apparently, Drake does have a daughter. <laughs> oh, man. No, I don't mean to laugh because having a child is nothing wrong with having a child. So if he does, I don't understand why Drake just doesn't come out and say he has a daughter. I mean, I guess, I guess that would look really bad. You know, so, um, yeah, so we're going to watch this clip from the Ville. <clears throat> Shout out to the Ville, man. Make sure y'all go uh, subscribe to his page. And, um, yeah, we'll be back. This is Torture Talk, you know, make sure you subscribe to the page. If you're new here, let me wait for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. It's absolutely free. So if you want to leave a donation, link's on the screen. Cash App, PayPal's in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000, a million by Monday morning. <clears throat> you know what it is. Wake up in the morning, see that million, be like, damn, subscribers. You know what I'm saying? And um, let me know where you're from, too, man. I really appreciate y'all telling me. I just want to say this, man, before I get into that. <clears throat> I really appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, you know I mean, it's certain videos that I drop, and I know y'all probably don't like, but y'all tell me in the comments, and I like that. I like the fact that y'all can actually talk to me in the comments and tell me which I like, which I don't like. I mean, some things I'm going to put out either way because I have to put out this content. If I feel some certain way about something, I'm going to put it out. You know what I'm saying? But all the day, other, in other things, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? But I love the fact that y'all give me y'all, y'all give me y'all feedback. And it's, and to me, that's the most important part of this channel is the fans, is the, the subscribers over here. Uh, and I want all subscribers over here to be here because they want to be here. And I don't want y'all to be here because y'all don't want to be here. I don't want y'all to be here because one story I said, like, I want y'all to talk to me because I'm doing stuff on here about a bunch of different things, not just something that you just like or something I just like. You know what I'm saying? So look, I had to go on this film. I'm sorry. But anyway, let's get to it, man. Let's do it. <laughs> I used to be a beatboxer back in the day. <laughs> I thought I was the shit too. I was so corny. I thought I was the shit. Anyway, let's get to it, man. What's going on, y'all? Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and let's get into it, man. So as you can see in the front of my screen, bro, uh, there is a little girl by the name of Eternity that people have been accusing of being Drake's alleged daughter. <laughs> I don't even want to blow this up because uh, damn she do look like Drake <laughs> holy shit yo oh my god bro damn Drake <laughs> yo she looked like you a hundred percent, bro. I don't know if somebody photoshopped that and manipulated this picture to make her look like you, but bro, that girl looked like you, bro. Oh my God, bro. This girl looks exactly like Drake, bro. Look at those eyes, bro. I'm telling you, I don't know somebody. Somebody might have played the trick, uh, played the trick on this, but look at her name, though. <laughs> Yo, oh my God, bro. Damn. Shout out to the Ville, man. Shout out to the Ville. But damn, Drake. Damn. <laughs> 12 o'clock show. Oh my God, bro. Damn. This is crazy. If this is really his daughter, Y'all can't say nothing about Meet the Grams. Is, if this is his daughter, Meet the Grams is officially the greatest diss track of all time. I'm sorry. It's the it's better than Not Like Us. It's better. It's it's number one, a hundred percent. If this is his daughter, Meet the Grams is is definitely the best diss track of all time. I'm not even gonna hold you. Now this comes right after the fact that this woman right here named Miss Reza which is a worker with UMG. She's employed through UMG and she has been posting her daughter. The little girl is her daughter specifically. 
right? So this little girl is her daughter, and she's revealed that her name is Eternity, Eternity Graham. Mm. And Kendrick I, says something about Eternity. Oh, shit. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy work, man. This is crazy work. This is crazy. I made a video about a month ago talking about this situation. I've talked about this extensively in the past, saying that this woman was being very vague in her post. Now, her account is private. The little girl's account is public. And I always thought that was funny because people were always saying, well, maybe she's just doing this for clout. Well, how would she be using all the stories that people are talking about? This is her story. This is the mom's story. So if she needs clout, why is her story private? The only way that people are able to get this screenshot is if they're able to have her as a friend on Instagram, if she accepts their request. So not many people are able to see this until somebody screenshot it and put it out for the public to see. You see, it shows that her daughter, Eternity Graham, is going to perform or is going to be one of the guests that will appear at this convention the number one kids convention kids now here's my thing right what's what's the what is the big deal with eternity graham like what is the big deal with her like why does why would people care if this girl is at a kids convention like why would people care why does it, her mom have to announce this is it so that's the thing like why why like most moms don't announce stuff like that. Why would she announce that? That's the question I would have. Maybe she, maybe she is a child star that nobody knows about. I don't know. I never heard of it. Con, I'm not too familiar what it is, but it's today and tomorrow. And she finally revealed her name to be Graham. Now the thing is, is that the mother has always spoke on her daughter, as all moms do, but she always referred to her by her first name and the first initial of her last name. But how is her name Graham? Did, I, and, I, and I know, I'm not stupid. I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm not stupid. I know some people take the last name of their parents. Some people take the last name of their father. And that, cause that happened to me. I took the last name of my father, so. So I'm thinking like maybe she did take the last name of, of uh, Drake. And she's revealing it now. But this had to be something that she knew was going to start a firestorm. Like, come on now. Come on now. So she'll always say eternity or eternity G. Now she's came out and spoke on her daughter for real and actually revealed her last name for this kids con that's coming up. I guess it's a head, a head shot or whatever you call it when they take a photo of you, you know, for the, uh, for the, for the cover. And then a lot of, I don't know if that's, I, I'm being honest. I'm just looking at this picture. This does look, this does look manipulated. I ain't gonna lie. The reason why I say that is because usually when kids take pictures, they don't take pictures like this. They don't, they don't take pictures like this. I would have to see. Now, I'm not saying this picture is fake. I'm just saying it could be doctored a little bit. Maybe maybe they made her face frown and make it look more like Drake because she looks exactly like me. So I don't know. But usually people's kids, you know, they, 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 wait, is this a, what's the name on there? See, this is what I mean. Like, look at that. Oh, that's his thing. I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say she got a diamond in her mouth or some shit <laughs> or a lip or something. So let's keep it going, man. People, and we have talked about this in a recent live that Drake had made a song called I'm the Problem, where he seemingly references a song regarding his baby mother, allegedly, and the relationship that he has with eternity. Now, as you can see here in the song, he says, we were so drunk when we met we got no anniversary. Porsche 911, I bought your ass like an emergency. You got some certainty. You want eternity. 
maternity. You want paternity, maternity, and nursery. Look at my life, though. Show me some courtesy. Promise you heard of me. Promise you heard of me. And this is why people were talking about Drake in this song speaking to his baby mother in regards to his child. He says, damn, that's crazy if he really said that. He said that in the song, but if that really is true, he's a nasty nigga, man. That's some nasty shit to tell some chick. Look at my life. <laughs> Look at my life. I can't have no damn kids. You crazy? Look at my life. <laughs> We were so drunk when we met, we got no anniversary, Porsche 911. And if y'all don't know, there's a picture of the baby mom, alleged baby mom, with the Porsche that she has a picture of in her car. Bought your ass like an emergency. You want some certainty. You want eternity. Damn, so this is crazy. Say you want some certainty. You want eternity. That's a fire bar. But that's crazy. Telling a girl, like, I know you want some certainty. You want some eternity. And maybe that's why she named the baby eternity. Or maybe uh, the baby name was already eternity. And she picked out a name and he just did it in a song. Yeah, that's crazy. Tim, <laughs> and I'm the problem, talking about eternity. And then he says, you want paternity, maternity, and nursery. Look at my life, though. <laughs> that's so That's so selfish to say. Yo. Like, if this really <laughs> is him speaking. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Yo, that's crazy to say. Yo, look at my life, though. <laughs> look at my life, though. Like, you, you got to understand. I can't have no kids right now. You crazy? <laughs> to a, a baby mom, right? Look at my life, though. Show me some courtesy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. We'll keep it alleged, though. But people have pointed to the song. Show me some courtesy. Um, saying that Drake is referring to his alleged daughter, Eternity Graham, when he says you want eternity. And then there's also the recent post that she had made in the past where she talks about let's address the elephant in the room, right? And this is where she has a, pi a picture of a blog in Toronto saying the identity of Drake's secrets, baby mama has allegedly been revealed. And this is her saying, let's talk, ready to talk. I posted this a while back. This is her posting a picture of her daughter when she was a baby girl. And this is her LinkedIn account that shows that she works with Universal Music Group. Damn. This is also they got you, Drake. <laughs> the bill got Drake. <laughs> the bill got him. <laughs> I believe That's her sick. Facebook got it right here. That reveals that she's a former music publicist at Universal Music Group. And last night when we we're going over this, someone had made a good theory. Drake probably hooked up with this woman, allegedly, right? Let's just say that if Drake hooked up with a woman, it's not out of the realm of possibility that he could get her a good job with UMG. I mean, if you worked for UMG, if you were their best artist that they had on the roster, wouldn't they be able to, you know, get your family member or your girlfriend a job that easy? Sounds like you're right, but that's what people were saying. It's probably how she got the job. Maybe he met her through the job. Who knows? But that's what we're that's what we're going on about. And this is her story, private story, other stuff that we had on the story. There's a lot more other stuff, man. But really, this is just basically the reason why people have always assumed that this woman was Drake's uh, baby moms, and that's why they always assume that eternity was you know, Drake's uh, alleged baby girl. But y'all tell me how y'all feel about this, bro. Do y'all really think that he was talking about her in this song, bro? You want some certainty. You want eternity. You want paternity, maternity, and nursery. Look at my life, though. Show me some courtesy. That's crazy to say, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, that is, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy for him to say. You want some certainty? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Look at my life. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but Drake, Drake definitely is a doodle ball. I ain't going to lie. He definitely is. But, yeah, man, that little girl looks like him. I ain't going to lie. I don't know if the picture was manipulated or whatever, but it does look like him. It, it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it. But why do they call children it? Like, it's inside of me. Like, why do they say that? It's a baby. Like, like it's a fetus. It's a, it's a clump of cells. Like, no, it's a baby. <laughs> anyway, I think that uh, uh, he couldn't hide something like this. You can't hide a child, bro. You, you, you can't hide a child, bro. It's not going to happen. It's too many people. Eventually, this little girl is going to know that you're her father. and She's going to say, Drake's my dad. And and how fair is that to put Adonis out there but not put your daughter out there? It, if you got – my thing is, like, I don't know if he's – if he just don't want to – don't want to acknowledge that he has multiple children or more children. He might have a lot of kids, and he might have paid these girls not to say nothing. But, Drake, you should you should claim your kids, man. If you do, if you do, you should claim your kids because it's not right – that these children is just is just being around and knowing that and some of them might not know who their father is and i hate the fact that people play off of something like that like you don't know who your dad is even though your mom knows who your dad is and 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 and, and it leaves your mom in a rock and hard place because she probably never has seen that type of money in her life somebody said i'll give you 25 million dollars to go away and don't say anything and I mean, who's going to like, I understand the love for your child and all this, but $25 million is that, that is life changing money. Not to say that that's what he gave them. We don't know how much he gave. We could have gave him $500. We don't know. But if somebody was to give you, and that's the question I got, I'm going to start asking y'all questions. Ladies, if a man, a celebrity offered you $25 million, not to say that the child was theirs. And you, let's say you didn't have no money and he gave you $25 million. I'm just want to make sure you, I understand. Y'all want to make sure y'all understand what I'm saying. He gave you $25 million for you not to say anything about the child. Would you do it? And if you would explain why, if you wouldn't explain why, but you have to have a legitimate reason why you wouldn't do it because 99.9% .9 of people would, they'll say no on paper. They'll say no on online. But then when you see that suitcase open up <laughs> and all those M's in there, you're like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I love you, but I'm going to take care of you. Like, I, mean, I don't know what happened to your dad. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, hey, man, thank y'all for joining me. 12 o'clock show. See y'all, man. Six o'clock show coming up. Y'all have yourself a good, good afternoon. Love y'all out there, man. See y'all. Bye bye. <laughs>